yeah so i just have my water right now what up guys thanks so much for coming back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be finally updating you guys on the blood builder pills if you want to know more about my results stay tuned and keep watching okay guys it has officially been two full months of me taking these blood builder pills i just took my last one a day two days ago and i wanted to finally update you guys i waited so long because i wanted to completely finish the whole bottle before i gave my review so this is technically my review of these pills so i just want to give you guys an up close to give you like a look at this bottle so right here you have ooh. so here we have the blood builders this is a uh, company is by mega foods um Right here on the label, it also says, with beets, oranges, and broccoli, iron and multivitamin dietary supplements, there are 60 tablets in this bottle. These are non-GMO, glyce, I don't even know how to say this word, but uh, glyce or something. Um, they are tested, they are certified gluten-free. They are certified vegan and whatever this K stands for. And then they are a dietary soy free. Um, over here is vitamin C, vitamin B12, folate acid, um, folate acid, iron, and beet. If you guys don't know, beets have a lot of iron in them. And they are a natural resource to becoming iron deficiency free if that's a word um so that's also a great um food that you can eat you can go on google and find out foods that have that are high in vitamin um that are high in iron but you also want to make sure that you're combining that with the vitamin c the vitamin and b12 and the folic acid and the reason is because it all helps your body to absorb the iron this is just research that i've done so far I do not know all about it. I'm still doing research and I'm still finding out things. So if you want to know more, please do your research before you start. Also, make sure that you are talking with your doctor um, about everything just so that because everybody's body is different. Thankfully, um, I have been doing really good on these vitamins. And so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a rundown of everything and all of the pros and cons and all that kind of stuff so first when i started i started to take keep track of all of the foods that i was eating when i first found out that i was struggling with anemia um what i was eating every day um i would write down like today i feel much better this was um january 19th then i had a water and orange juice on the side with a boiled egg so this was like a full day of what I had what I had been eating and it definitely changed. I didn't go as deep as I was before, but in the beginning I was afraid that I would have to go back to the hospital and get a blood transfusion, so I just was like I'm cutting everything out. I'm just going to go ham. I also cut out dairy um because I'm lactose intolerant and I don't like the fact that I get super bad gas and occasional constipation from that and I couldn't take it. Um, and so, if you don't know already, the reason why I decided to go with an organic uh, vitamin and vegan is because the other iron pills constipate me. Um, everybody else has different side effects. For me, it was just straight constipation. I couldn't take it. It was just too much for my body. I still have some just in case I run out of these or, like, you know, because these are a little bit more pricey. But, um, yeah, I don't really plan on taking the other ones because... I don't want that crap in my body anyway because it just has so many chemicals so um let me go over to my handy dandy list because i had written everything out for you guys so that i could be you know like so that i could be on the topic of things so as for the pros um so i'm gonna read you guys my list of pros and cons while taking these vitamins so the pros are that I do not have any more fatigue I don't have any more heart pains my hair is getting thicker I have no more anemia side effects so far when I'm not on my period when I'm on my period it's a little bit different um, 
when I'm on my period, I have to take some other kind of supplement that's going to help also because I'm losing blood. So what I decided to do was start, oops, sorry. So what I decided to do was start drinking beet juice uh, because beet juice is really good for that extra, like, you know, it's already inside of these pills, but I figured if I take them um, twice a day while I'm on my period, it will stop me from getting weak and, you know, nauseous and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be honest, I'm really worried about if I travel, like what that's going to look like without the beats, uh, if I happen to be on my period. So I guess wherever I go, I would have to find beets somewhere and make smoothies or just eat them. I don't know how that's going to go. But uh, so far, so good um, as far as when I'm on my period doing the beet juice. And if you guys want to see a video of me doing beet juice, when I get on my period, like I, what I can do is like a whole, I am actually on my period for like a, a minimum of seven days. So if you guys want to know the whole progress each day how I feel when I'm making the smoothies let me know and I would definitely record that on my next cycle um for the cons oh let me think of any other pros I don't really have I can't really think of any but I just I really like these pills a lot um and I really like the brand I don't really have any complaints really much about these products but there are two I mean uh two cons I can say one con is that they are pretty expensive. This bottle is $22 on Amazon. I bought this one from Mom's Organic Grocery Store for $16 on sale. I think the regular price was, I think, or $18. I think the regular price was $24. I can't remember. But this one has 188 milligrams in it of beet juice. And then this one has 125 milligrams of beet juice. So I don't really know why, but I'll probably keep going with this one since it's more. And right now I need more. Um, okay, and then another con is that I I got really dehydrated while taking these. Um I don't know if it's because when you're taking a vitamin, you need to drink. I know that when you take vitamins, you have to drink at least a gallon of water a day for, for women of my body weight or mass or whatever you call that. Um, and this is what I'm drinking right here. I'm drinking four of these each day, which equals out to 128, um, 128 ounces of water, which is one gallon. And I use this app to help me if you're not used to drinking water. Um, so it reminds me every hour to drink uh, something, to drink some type of water. Um, I already had some, so I need to add it here. So I'm on my second ounce right now. I'm at my second 32 ounces. So this is what it looks like. I hope this is clear for you guys. And um, if you want, I can post this in the bottom just to show you guys what this app is like. So basically, it will send you a reminder every hour. So right now, my reminder is for 11 o'clock. And so at 11 o'clock, I will start to drink this by the hour when 11 o'clock, you know, by the time 12 o'clock comes, this should already be gone. And so in about 40 minutes, 30 minutes into your hour, it will remind you to get another cup of water so that you can start drinking because 32 ounces is going to um, equal out to four of these in order to get to one gallon because I'm not about to be picking up a whole bunch of cups and filling it up. It's just too much for me. Um... <laughs> oh another thing for some reason I drink water faster with a straw I don't know if you have a hard time drinking water I'd say get one of these I got this at Target um, for $14 that's very expensive for me okay I would never ever pay $14 however it has a straw and the type of straw that it is like this really flexible straw that's easy to clean I'm only drinking out of this with water, so I can just rinse this out with some soap and hot water or let it sit in water. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, so I really like this container. It's easy to clean. I did mess it up because I had uh, some essential oils in here, so that kind of messed that up a little bit. But other than that, it just left like a residue. Other than that, yeah, this is what I'm drinking my water out of. So other than the pros and cons... Um, as far as hair growth goes, which I know a lot of you guys are probably like wondering, I had definitely seen 
a huge amount when it comes to hair growth. Um, if you watched my last video about when I cut my hair, from when I cut my hair, I'll try to do like a before and after on here somewhere if I can get it in. Um, but my hair, I feel like it grew maybe just a few centimeters, which is not a lot, but uh, within a couple of, maybe two months, it would equal out to an inch. Um, but the back of my hair, my undercut grew a lot. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is my undercut. Let me pull this up. This is what it looks like so far. It definitely grew a lot. Um, it's only been three weeks, I think. So this is the hair growth for three weeks. Um, which is cool. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's considered a lot or what, but it's some hair growth. Um, as far as the haircut goes, I'm actually really liking it. I've never had this exactly specific haircut before. Um, I've had plenty of haircuts, but never this one. Um, and I like it. I've been able to try a couple of different styles out. I get a lot of compliments all the time. Um, however, I do miss having long hair, but I'm just embracing this. Um, let's see. Healthy eating. So... You know, you can definitely take these vitamins, but I feel like when you are implementing healthier habits when it comes to your eating, that really helps with your hair growth and just helps with overall your body. Um, so every day I drink a smoothie, whether it's a green smoothie, whether it's like a vitamin C boost, whether it's a um, vitamin, you know, whatever. I'm always just, and a lot of times I don't really have specific recipes. I just throw a whole bunch of stuff together, but everything I put together combined so I'm making sure that I'm having leafy greens um, with vitamin C with um, you know the the B12 added in I'm trying to make sure that I have all that in there to help my body absorb the iron that it needs also you guys know that if you watch the other video the doctor did tell me to make sure that I eat a lot of beef yeah that's been annoying because I stopped eating beef because it makes my belly fat. Okay, uh, my stomach, I have definitely gained weight. Um, so that's probably like the downfall of this whole thing because they told me in order to get my iron back up to a certain amount, I needed to eat like red meat. And I cut that completely out of my diet because I knew that it was hard for me to lose that belly fat. So um, that's kind of been now that's kind of the thing that's like getting me now because i really want to get rid of that part <laughs> and like i've been struggling with my stomach ever since having five kids and now that i had to go back to this like eating red meat i noticed a big difference i think i gained about 10 pounds within the last two months um which is fine i don't mind gaining weight but when it's all going to my stomach i'm just like bro what i'm supposed to do so exercising has not really happened yet. Um, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't like to exercise. I don't like the actual workouts. You know, I like to dance. I prefer dancing. Uh, and so I'm trying to figure out if there's a Zumba class in my area that I can start going to once a week or maybe like three or four times a week to implement that exercise as well. So, yeah, this concludes the end of this video. Um... I don't really have much else to say, uh, but that I really am excited and just so thankful that um, I found, you know, that God led me to find these on uh, in YouTube. I found them from another girl and I was like, I'm totally getting those. So I'm so thankful for that. As far as prayer goes, I forgot to tell you guys, I do pray over my hair. Sometimes I forget though, but I am praying over it. And I'm right now, I'm just really believing that. Uh, I'm just going through the motions like and just having faith in this and I'm just thankful that it didn't get as bad and that I'm able to help you guys because I've been getting so many responses from this um, and it's just really been a journey and it's it's really uplifting that I get to help other people as well. So guys I hope you enjoyed this update on my review for the blood builder vitamins don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want me to do in my next video and i will see you in my next one bye